Welcome to another video. As you can tell, yes, it is the long awaited Thode Foth Pot. I think it's the Thode Pot in my continuous Cookie Clicko series of shooting things. Last time, I think we did achievements. I don't know. But today we're doing upgrades. It's been months, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Maybe it's been weeks. I, I don't know anything. But here we go. It's April. Yep. Right, uh, right after. I, I might do a video on that April Fool's update for Minecraft because it's actually really fun to play with, just with all the new dimensions. Uh, you know, if anyone gives me like a list of places to go, I could totally do that for a video. Even though I don't think uh, in the long term of my channel's existence it would actually do anything for me, but let's let's get to the point of the video. Let's just call that the intro. So today I'm doing upgrades of Cook Quickle. Uh, the most important part is that there are teals. The, the the primate heals are plain, which is just your base heal. Then it gets purple and becomes beryllium. And then it's blue, which is blue beryllium. And then it's kind of golden, which is chelsed honey. And then it's even more golden. And that's butter gold. And then it gets kind of icky and yucky. And then that's sugar muck. And then it gets green and black on the inside and that's that's jet mint after that you got cherry silver which is has a red bottle and a silver inward and then when you get to a kind of lime green you have hazard i think that's how you pronounce it none of these have official pronunciations of course uh you also got moon candy which is purple and blue it's it's kind of funky looking i won't lie i apologize if music's a little too quiet it's a little too loud for me personally uh and after moon candy you have astro fudge which is a brownish kind of maroon with a purple outside and finally you have a lava scream, which is white with a creamy kind of tan outline. Uh, you also have iridium, or iridium, which is currently only available for a specific upgrade. Uh, and there's also a few special teals. There is Synergy 1 and Synergy 2 teals for the Synergy upgrades. You also have the fortune teal for fortune upgrades and the self-referential self teal, which is unique to the label printer itself, which is how anyone can see the teals of a upgrade. So the order of most are going to be just the order I put down for the primary teals. Uh, it'll just be exactly that order. Let's begin with Kosos. The reinforced index finger costs 100. Kosos are twice as efficient. Prod prod. Kalpo tunnel prevention cream costs 500. Twice as efficient Kosos. It it holds to click. Ambidextrous, 10,000, twice as efficient. Look, Ma, both hands. Thousand fingers, 100,000, plus 0.1 cookies for each non coso object owned. Clickety. Million fingers, 10 million, plus 0.5 cookies for each non coso object. Clickety, clickety. Billion fingers, 100 million, plus 5 cookies. And the same thing. Clickety, clickety, clickety. Trillion fingers, 1 billion, plus 50 cookies. Same thing. All of these are the same, by the way. Clickety, 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 clickety. 
quadrillion fingers. Ten billion. Plus five hundred cookies. Clickety 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 clickety. Oh sorry. Clickety 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 click. There we go. Got it right that time. Quintillion fingers. The mouse and Kozos gain plus five thousand cookies. Man, just go click 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 click. It's real easy, man. Sextillion fingers. Plus fifty thousand. Sometimes things just click. Septillion fingers. Ten quintillion. Plus five hundred thousand cookies. Closery flavor text. Octillion fingers. Plus five million cookies. I don't know if I said it, but it's ten sextillion, by the way. Turns out you can quite put your finger on it. That is all the basic coaster upgrades. Next is the grandmas. All of them? Oh, just making them twice as efficient, by the way, so I won't even be saying that part. Folds from grandma. 1,000 cookies. Re, re. Thought you'd get a kick out of this, winky face. Steel plated rolling pins. 5,000 cookies. Grandmas are twice as efficient. Just what you needed. With a K, of course. Lubricated dentures. 50,000 cookies. Grandmas are twice as efficient. Squish. Prune juice. Prune juice. 5 million cookies. Gets me going. Double thick glasses. 500 million cookies. Oh, so that's what I've been baking. Aging agents. 50 billion cookies. Counterintuitively, grandmas have the uncanny ability to become more powerful the older they get. Extreme walkers. 50 trillion cookies. Complete with flame decals and a little horn that goes to the unbridling. 50 quadrillion cookies. It might be a classic tale of bad parenting, but let's see where grandma is going with this. Revolse dementia. 50 quintillion cookies, of course. Extremely unsettling, and somehow even worse than the regular kind. Time-proof hair dyes. 56 trillion. Why do they always have those strange wispy pink dots? What do they know about candy floss that we don't? Good manos. 500 septillion. Apparently these ladies are much more amiable if you take the time to learn their strange ancient customs, which seem to involve saying please and thank you while staring at the sun with bulging eyes while muttering eldritch curses under your breath. I believe most buildings also follow the same twice as efficient path, they're all the same. So I just won't be mentioning that on any of them unless it comes to it. Cheap hose. 11,000. Break in the dough. Fertilizer. 55,000. It's chocolate, I swear. Cookie trees. 550,000. A relative of the breadfruit. Genetically modified cookies. All natural mutations. 55 million. Gingerbread scarecrows. 5.5 billion. Staring at your crops with mischievous glee. Pulsal sprinkles. 550 billion. There's no such thing as overwatering. The moistest is the bestest. Fudge fungus. 550 trillion. A sugary parasite whose tendrils help cookie growth. Please do not breathe in the spores. In case of spore ingestion, seek medical help within the next 36 seconds. Wheat Triffids, 550 quadrillion. Taking care of crops is so much easier when your plants can just walk about and help around the farm. Do not pet, do not feed, do not attempt to convulse with. 
humane pesticides. 550 quintillion. Made by people, for people, from people, and ready to unleash some righteous scorching pain on those pesty inse insects that deserve it so. Bond stars. 550 sextillion. Ah, yes. These help quite a bit. Somehow. Lindworms. 5.5 octillion. You have to import these from far up north, but they really help aerate the soil. And now, onto the mines. Sugar gas. 120,000. A pink, volatile gas found in the depths of some chocolate caves. Megadrill. 600,000. You're in deep. Ultra drill. 6 million. Finally caved in. Ultima drill. 600 million. Pierce the heavens, etc. H bomb mining. 60 billion. Questionable efficiency, but spectacular nonetheless. Coal Forge. 6 trillion. You finally dug a tunnel down to the Earth's coal. It's pretty warm down here. Planet Splitters. 6 quadrillion. These new state of the art excavators have been tested on Marula, Globot, and Fluanza 6, among other distant planets which have been curiously quiet lately. Canola Oil Wells. 6 quintillion. A previously untapped resource, canola oil permeates the underground olifers, which granted its particular taste and lucrative properties. Mole people. Six sextillion. Engineered from real human beings within your very labs, these sturdy little folks have a knack for finding the tastiest underground minerals in conditions that mo more expensive machinery probably wouldn't survive. Mine canaries. Six septillion. These aren't just, these aren't used for anything freaky. The, the miners just enjoy having a pet or two down there. Bore again. 60 octillion. After extracting so much sediment for so long, you found some veritable mountains of your own from the accumulated piles of Jordan Rock. Time to dig through those and see if you find anything fun. On to the factories. Studio conveyor belts. 1.3 million. You're going places. Child labor. 6.5 million. Cheaper, healthier workforce. Sweatshop. 65 million. Slackers will be terminated. Radium reactors. 6.5 billion. Gives your cookies a healthy glow. Recombobulators. 650 billion, a major part of cookie recombobulation. Deep bake process, 65 trillion, a patented process in increasing cookie yield twofold for the same amount of ingredients. Don't ask how, don't take pictures, and be sure to wear your protective suit. Cyborg workforce, 65 trillion, sorry, quadrillion. Semi-synthetic organisms don't slack off, don't unionize, and have 20% shorter lunch breaks, making them ideal labor fodder. 78 hour days. Why didn't we think of this earlier? Machine loaning. 65 sextillion. You figured you might get better productivity if you actually told your workers to learn how to work the machines. Sometimes it's the little things. Brownie point system. 65 septillion. Oh, oh, these are lovely. You can now award your factory employees for good behavior, such as working overtime or snitching on other co-workers. Brownie points gets you a little picture of a brownie, and 178 of those pictures gets you an actual brownie piece for you to do so as with, for you to do with as so you please. Infantilizing? Maybe. Oodles of fun? You betcha. Volunteer intones. 650 octillion. If you're bad at something, 
Always do it for free. Now onto the banks. Talo Tellos, 14 million. Able to process a higher amount of transactions. Careful though, as Talo Tellos tell tall tales. Scissor resistant credit cards, 70 million. For those truly valued customers. Acid proof vaults, you know what they say. Better safe than sorry. Chocolate coins, 70 billion. This revolutionary currency is much easier to melt from and into ingots and tastes much better for a change. Exponential interest rates, 7 trillion. Can't argue with mathematics. Now, fork it over. Financial Zen, 700 trillion, the ultimate grail of economic thought, and the Feng Shui of Feng Shui, not sure, of big money, the stock market yoga, the Heimlich maneuver of dimes and nickels, way of the wallet, 700 quadrillion. This new monetary school of thought is all the rage in the banking scene. Follow its precipits, pre precepts, and you may just profit from it. The stuff rationale. If not now, when? If not it, what? If not things, stuff? Edible money. 700 sextillion. It's really quite simple. You make all currency too delicious not to eat, solving old hunger and inflation in one fell swoop checks out the math checks out grand super cycle 700 septillion we let the people think these are complicated financial terms when really we're just awarding the bankers with snazzy bicycles for a job well done it's only natural after you built up those fancy gold swimming pools for them where they can take a dip and catch conditive waves rules of acquisition Rule number 387. A cookie baked is a cookie kept. Please. Ah. Okay. On to the temples. Low. Ah, sorry. Golden idols. 200 million. Low even greedy or adventurous to achieve your cookies. Now that's a real idol game. <laughs> Sacrifices. One billion. What's a life to a gigaton of cookies? Delicious blessing. Ten billion. And lo, the baker's almighty spoon came down and distributed holy gifts unto the believers, shimmering sugar and chocolate, dark as night, and all manners of wheats. And boy, let me tell you, that party was mighty gnarly. Sun Festival. One trillion. Free the primordial powers of your temples with these annual celebrations involving fire breathers, traditional dancing, ritual beheadings, and other merriments. Enlarged Pantheon. Pantheon. 100 trillion. Enough spiritual inadequacy. More divinities than you'll ever need. Or your money back. 100% guaranteed. Great Baker in the Sky. 10 quadrillion. This is it. The ultimate deity has finally cast a sublimely divine eye upon your operation. Whether this is a good thing or possibly the end of days is something you should find out very soon. Creation myth. 10 quintillion. Stories have been circulating about the origins of the very first cookie that was ever baked. Tales of how it all began in the dough beyond time and the ovens of destiny. Theocracy, 10 sextillion. You've turned your cookie empire into a perfect theocracy, gathering the ad adoration of zillions of followers from every corner of the universe. Don't let it go to your head. Sick rap prayers, 10 septillion. 
with their ill-beaten radical rhymes. These way hip religious tunes are sure to get all the youngins who thought they were too cool for church back on the pews and praying for more. Wicked. Psalm reading. Ten Octillion. A theologically dubious and possibly blasphemous blend of fortune telling and scriptural studies. War of the Gods. 100 nonillion. An interesting game. The, in the only winning move is not to pray. Just wait a moment. Gotta stay hydrated. Point your hats. 3.3 billion. Tests have shown increased thomic receptivity relative to the geometric proportions of wizardly conic implements. Beardly beards. 16.5 billion. Haven't you heard? The beard is the word. Ancient Grimoires. 165 billion. Contain interesting spells such as tone water to drool, grow eyebrows on furniture, and summon politician. Kitchen Coses, 16.5 trillion. Exotic magic involved in all things pastry related. Excellent. School of Sorcery. This cookie funded academy of witchcraft is home to the four prestigious houses of magic. The jocks, the nodes, the preps, and the death munchers. Dark formulas. 165 quadrillion. The outage forces are at work behind these spells. You get the feeling you really shouldn't be messing with those. But I mean, free cookies, right? Cookie Mancy. 165 quintillion. There it is. The perfected school of baking magic. From summoning chips to hexing nuts, there is not a single part of cookie making that hasn't been improved tenfold by magic tricks. Rabbit trick. Own 250 wizard towers. Using. Oh, 165 sextillion. Using nothing more than a fancy top hat, your wizards have found a way to simultaneously cool rabbit populations and produce heaps of cookies for basically free. Resulting cookies. May or may not be fit for vegans. Deluxe Tailored Wands, 165 septillion. In this age of science, most skillful wand makers are now long gone. But thankfully, not all, the, all those wanderers are lost. Immobile Spellcasting, 165 octillion. Wizards who master this skill can now cast spells without having to hop and skip and gesticulate embarrassingly, which is much sneakier and honestly, quite a relief. Electricity. 1.65 decillion. Ancient magics and forbidden hexes shroud this arcane knowledge whose unfathomable power can mysteriously turn darkness into light and shock an elephant to death. And now for shipments. Vanilla Nebula. If you removed your space helmet, you could probably smell it. No, don't do that. Wormholes. By using these sh these as shortcuts, your ships can travel much faster. End. Quick note. I do not. I think I'll uh, stop with the prices because it's a waste of both of our times. Frequent fly. Come back soon. Warp drive. To boldly bake. Chocolate monoliths. My god, it's full of chocolate bows. Generation ship. Though to last, this humongous spacecraft will surely deliver your cookies to deep ends of space. One day. Dyson Sphere. You found a way to apply your knowledge of cosmic technology to slightly more local endeavors. 
This gigantic sphere of metamaterials wrapping the solar system is sure to kick your baking abilities up a notch. The final frontier. It's been a long road getting from there to here, and it's all worth it though. The sights are lovely, and the oil prices are slightly more reasonable. Autopilot. Your ships are now fitted with completely robotic crews. It's crazy how much money you ha save when you don't have to compensate the families of those lost in space. Restaurants at the end of the universe. Since the universe is spatially infinite, and therefore can be construed to have infinite ends, you've opened an infinite chain of restaurants where your space truckers can rest and partake in some home brand cookie based meals. Universal Alphabet. You've managed to chart a language that can be understood by any sentient species in the galaxy. Its exciting vocabulary contains over 56 trillion words that sound and look like sparkly bulbs forming intricate sentences that usually translate to something like, Give us your cookies, or else. And now for the alchemy labs. Anti-money. Actually worth a lot of money. Essence of dough. Extracted through the five ancient steps of alchemical baking. True chocolate. The purest form of cacao. Ambrosia. Adding this to the cookie mix is sure to make them even more addictive. Perhaps and dangerously so. Let's hope you can keep selling these legally. Aqua Cristale. Careful with the dosing. One drop too much and you get muffins. And nobody likes muffins. Origin Crucible. Built from the rarest of ults and located at the very deepest of the largest mountains. This legendary crucible could retain properties from the Big Bang itself. Theory of Atomic Fluidity Pushing alchemy to its most extreme limits, you find that everything is transmutable into anything else. Lead to gold, mercury to water, more importantly, you realize that anything can and should be converted to cookies. Beige goo. Well, now you've done it. Good job, very nice. That's three galaxies you just converted into cookies. Good thing you can hop from universe to universe. The advent of chemistry. You know what? That whole alchemy nonsense was a load of baseless rubbish. Dear God, what were you thinking? On second not. On second thought. Disregard that last upgrade. Alchemy is where it's at. Your eggheads just found a way to transmute children's nightmares into real metals. Public betterment. Why do we keep trying to change useless matter into cookies, or cookies e into even better cookies? Clearly the way of the future is to change the people who eat the cookies into people with a greater understanding, appreciation, and respect for the cookies they're eating. Into the vat you go. Portals now. Ancient tablet. A strange slab of peanut brittle holding an ancient cookie recipe. Neat? Insane oatling walkers. Arise, my minions. Soul bond. So I just sign up and get more cookies? Sure, whatever. Sanity dance. We can change if we want to. We can leave our brains behind. Brain transplant. With a A-N-E, not a A-I-N. This refers to a practice of merging higher dimensional universes or brains with our own in order to facilitate transit and harvesting of precious cookie dough. Deity-sized portals. It's almost like, say, an elder god could fit through this thing now. 
Hypothetically. End of times backup plan. Just in case, alright? Maddening chance. A popular voice goes like so. Juan Madden. Juan Madden. Ayu 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 bo 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 The real world. It turns out that our universe is actually a twisted dimension of another, say no plane of reality. Time to hop on over there and loot the place. Dimensional garbage gulpo. So we've been looking for a place to dispose of all the refuse that's been accumulating since we started baking. Bone cookies, fair experiments, I know we were well. We figured rather than sell it to poor countries like we've been doing, we could just dump it in some alternate dimension. But it's not gonna bother anybody. Probably. Apologies for the interruptions. They should be over for now. We found out that if we bake the polos into the cookies themselves, we can transport people's taste buds straight into the taste dimension. Good thing your army of lawyers got rid of the FDA a while ago. Now for time machines. Flux capacitors. Bake to the future. Time paradoxes, Alvo. No fooling around with your own grandmother. Quantum conundrum. There's only one constant, and that is universal uncertainty. Oh, is it? Causality info. What happened happened. Yes, Tomorrow Computers. Fortnights into Millenniums. Fall Future Enactment. The Fall Future Enactment authorizes you to delve deep into the future. Where civilization has fallen and risen again, and the cookies are plentiful. The Great Loop Hypothesis What if our universe is just one instance of an infinite cycle? What if before and after it stretched infinite amounts of the same universe, themselves containing infinite amounts of cookies? Cookie-topian moments of maybe. Reminiscing how things could have been, should have been, and will have been. Second, seconds. That's twice as many seconds in the same amount of time. What a deal. Also, what in God's name? Additional clock hands. It seemed like a silly idea at first, but it turns out these things have a strange ability to twist time in interesting new ways. Nostalgia. Your time machine technicians insist that this is some advanced new time travel tech and not just an existing emotional universe to mankind. Either way, you have to admit that selling people the same old cookies just because it reminds them of the good old times is an interesting prospect. Sugar Boson. Oh yeah, by the way, we're in anime recognizes now. Sugar Bosons. Sweet foam bosons. String Theory. Reveals new insight about the true meaning of baking cookies and, as a bonus, the structure of the universe. Large Macaron Kaleido. How singular! Big Bang Bake. And that's how it all began. Vos Cyclotrons. These can uncollision particles and unspin atoms for a better flavor and stuff. Nanocosmics. The theory of nanocosmics posits that the, each subatomic particle is in fact its own self-contained universe, holding unfathomable amounts of energy. The pulse. We've tapped into the very pulse of the cosmos, a timeless rhythm, along with which every material and antimaterial 
thing beats in unison. This somehow means more cookies. Some other super tiny fundamental particle, probably. What even the universe is running out of ideas. That's when you know you're nearing the end. Quantum comb. Quantum entanglement is one of those things that are so annoying to explain that we might as might honestly be better off without it. This is finally possible thanks to the quantum comb. Baking Nobel Prize. What better way to sponsor scientific growth than to move those small me nodes with a meaningless award? What's more, each prize comes with a fine print lifelong exclusive contract to come work for you or else. The definite molecule. The scientists have found a way to pack a cookie into one single continuous molecule, opening exciting new prospects in both storage and flavor, despite the fact that these take up, up to a whole year to digest. Um, and now we have the prism. Gem polish. Get rid of the get rid of the grime and let more light in. Truly, truly outrageous. Ninth color. Delve into untouched optical depths where even the mantis shrimp hasn't set an eye. Chocolate light. Bask into its cocoa essence. Warning may cause various interesting, albeit deadly, skin conditions. Rainbow. Remove the different grains using the handy Roy G. Biv Monomic. R is for rice, O is for oats, and B is for barley. Pure cosmic light. Own a hundred prisms. I don't know why I read that part. New prism now receives pristine, unadulterated photons from the other end of the universe. Glow in the dark. Your prism is now glow in the dark, effectively doubling their output. By the way, I need to queue up some new music because the last one just moved on. Let's go with lo fi. This is the lo fi. God. I've been lied to. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I didn't mean to do that for you. One hour of non copyrighted music. Oh, that one looks pretty good. I don't know. This one's lo-fi. Let's go with that one. Perfect. Perfect. Just perfect. Alright, let's get back to it. Wait, wait, wait. Glow in the dark. Your prisms now glow in the dark, effectively doubling their output. Lux Sanctorum. Your prism attendants have, became, have become increasingly mesmerized with something in the light. Or maybe something beyond it. Beyond us all, perhaps. Reverse shadows. Oh man, this is really messing with your eyes. Crystal mules, designed to filter more light back into your prisms, reaching levels of brightness that reality itself had never planned for. Reverse theory of light. A whole new world of physics opens up when you decide that anti-photons are real and posit that light is merely a void in the shadow. Light capture measures. As the universe gets ever so slightly demoted to you converting more and more of its light into cookies, you've taken to finding new unexplored sources of light for your prisms. For instance, the warm glow emitted by a pregnant woman, or the twinkle in the eye of a hopeful child. Now for the chance makers. Your lucky cookie. This is the first cookie you ever baked. It holds a deep sentimental value. And, after all this time, an interesting smell. All bets are off. Magic coin. A coin that always lands on the other side and flipped. Not heads, not tails, not even the edge. The other side. Winning lottery ticket. What lottery? The lottery. That's what matters. That's what lottery. The only lottery that matters. Full leaf clover field. No giant monsters here, just a whole lot of lucky grass. A recipe book about books. Tip the scales in your favor with 28 creative new ways to cook the book. 
a leprechaun village. You finally become accepted among the local leprechauns who lend you, you their mythical luck as a sign of friendship, as well as some rather foul-tasting tea. Improbability Drive A strange engine that tones statistics on their head, recommended by the Grandmother's Guide to the Bakery. anti superstitronics Statronics an exciting new field of research that makes things unlucky, things lucky. No mule unbroken, no ladder unwalked under. Bunny peeds. You've taken to beating rabbits with, hundred of, with hundreds of paws, which makes them intrinsically very lucky and thus a very handy, if very disturbing pet. Revised probabilistics. Either something happens or it doesn't, that's a 50% chance. This suddenly makes a lot of unlikely things very possible. A zero-sided die. The advent of the zero-sided die has had some unexpected and tumultuous effects on the gambling community, and saw experts around the world calling you both a genius and an imbecile. Now the fractal engine. Meta bakeries. They practically bake themselves. Mando brown sugar. A substance that displays usefulness, useful properties such as fractal sweetness and instant contact lethality. Fractoids. Here's a fun fract. All in all, these were a terrible idea. Nested universe theory. Asserts that each subatomic particle is host to a whole new universe and therefore another limitless quantity of cookies. This somehow stacks with the theory of nanocosmics because physics. Mingel sponge cake. Frighteningly absorbent thanks to its virtually infinite surface area. Keep it isolated in a dry chamber. Never handle it with an open wound and do not ever let it touch a body of water. One particularly good humored cow. This unassuming bovine was excruciatingly expensive, and it may seem at first like you ripped off. On closer inspections, however, you notice that its earrings, its wearing earrings, are actually fully functional copies of itself, each of which also wearing their own cow earrings, and so on infinitely. It appears your dairy concerns will be taken care of for a while, though you'll have to put up with the cow's annoying snickering. Chocolate Ouroboros, forever eating its own tail and digesting itself in a metabolically dubious tale of delicious tragedy. Nested. Clever self-reference or shameful cross-promotion, this upgrade apparently has the gall to advertise the link to otio.net.org slash nested in a tooltip you can't even click. But I can click it. No, I can't. Space-filling fibers. A special ingredient has the incredible ability to fill the local space perfectly, effectively eradicating hunger in those who consume it. Knowing that no hunger means no need for cookies, you marketeers urge you to repurpose this product into next level packing peanuts. Endless Book of Prose There was once a baker named your bakery. One day, there was a knock at the door. Bake, bakery name, opened it, and it was suddenly face to face with a strange and menacing old grandma. The grandma opened her mouth, and in a strange little voice started reciting this strange little tale. And then it infinitely repeats. <laughs> the set of all sets. The answer is, of course, a definite maybe. Now for the Java, JavaScript console. The JavaScript console for dummies. This should get you started. The first line reads, to open the JavaScript console, press... Uh, and the rest of the book is soaked in chocolate milk. If only there was a way to look up this sort of information. 64-bit arrays. A long-form variable to type to pack a long form variable type to pack your cookies much more effectively. Stack Overflow. 
This is really bad. You probably forgot to close the loop somewhere, and now your programs are going crazy. The rest of your engineers seem really excited about it somehow. How could a software mishap like a Stack Overflow possibly ever help anyone? Enterprise Compile This bespoke JavaScript compiler took your team years of development and billions in research, but it should let you ex execute certain functions up to 2% faster in optimal circumstances. Syntactic Sugar Tastier code for tastier cookies. A nice cup of coffee. All this node stuff has you exhausted. You make yourself a nice cup of coffee brewed with roasted beans from some faraway island. You may have been working a bit too hard, though. The cup of coffee starts talking to you, insisting that it is not JavaScript. Just in time baking. A new method of preparing cookies. They bake themselves right in front of the customers before eating, leaving your kitchens mess free. Cookies plus plus, short form C plus plus. Your very own cookie themed programming language, elegantly named after its most in interesting ability to increase the cookie variable by one. Software updates. This is grand news. Someone's finally figured out the Wi-Fi password and your newfound internet connection seems to have triggered a whole lot of software updates. Your browsers, drivers, and plugins all received a fresh coat of paint, and your JavaScript version has been updated to the latest ECMA script specification. It's really too bad thousands had to die due to some deprec deprecated function you know no toxin ventilation code, but I guess that's progress for you. Game dot loop. You're not quite sure what to, to make of this. What does it mean? What does it do? Who would leave something like that just laying around here? Try asking again in one thirtieth of a second. Eval open parentheses close parentheses. It is said that this simple function holds the key to the universe, and that whosoever masters it may shape reality to their will. Good thing you have no idea how it works. Make so a neat plaque on your wall, though. Now, for the grandma upgrades. Part 2, I guess. Former grandmas. Uh, for all of these, grandmas get twice as efficient and gain one CPS. Or, uh, the base building gains plus one CPS per blank amount of grandmas. Palmo grandmas, a nice Palmo to grow more cookies. Minor grandmas, a nice Mino to dig more cookies. Walker grandmas, a nice Walker to manufacture more cookies. Banco grandmas, a nice Banco to cash in more cookies. Priestess grandmas, a nice priestess to bake to praise the great baker in the sky. Witch grandmas, a nice witch to cast a zip and a zoop and a poof cookies. Cosmic grandmas, a nice thing to uh cookies. Transmutated grandmas, a nice golden grandma to convert into more cookies. Altered grandmas. A nice grandma to uh, Grandma's grandma's A nice grandma's nice grandma to bake double the cookies Anti-grandma's A mean to anti-grandma A mean anti-grandma to vomit more cookies Do not put in contact with normal grandma's loss of battle may occur Rainbow aunt grandma's a luminous grandma to sparkle into more cookies. Lucky grandmas. A fortunate grandma that always seems to find more cookies. Meta grandmas. A fractal grandma to make more grandmas to make more cookies. Binary grandmas. A digital grandma to transform more cookies. See also. Boolean grandmas. String grandmas. Not a number of grandmas known as nans. Now for some synergies. All of these give plus 5% CPS to one building and 
plus 0.1 CPS based on the other building to another building. It's a synergy. Future Almanax lets you predict what lets you predict optimal planting times. It's crazy what time travel can do. Rain prayer, a deeply spiritual ceremonial invol ceremonial involving complicated dance moves and high tech cloud busting lasers. Seismic magic. Surprise earthquakes are an old favorite of wizard leaf rat houses. Asteroid mining. As for the 1974 United Cosmic Convention, comets, moons, and pla inhabited planetoids are no longer legally excavatable. But hey, a space bribe goes a long way. Quantum electronics. Your machines won't even be sure if they're on or off. Temporal overclocking. Introduce more quickitude into your system for increased speedation of fastness. Contracts from beyond. Make sure to read the fine print. Printing presses. Fake bills so real they're almost worth the ink they're printed with. Paganism. Some deities are better left unworshipped. God particle. Turns out God is much shinier than we thought. I guess. Arcane knowledge. Some things were never meant to be known, only mildly speculated. Magical botany. Already known in some reactionary newspapers as the wizard's GMOs. Fossil fuels. Somehow better than plutonium for powering rockets. Extracted from the fuels of ancient fossilized civilizations. Shipyards. Where carpentry, blind luck, and asbestos insula insulation unite to produce the most daz dazzling spaceships on the planet. Primordial ores. Only when refining the purest metals will you extract the sweetest sap of the earth. Gold fund. If gold is the backbone of economy, cookies surely are its joint hip. Infernal crops. Sprinkle regularly with fire! Abysmal glimmer. Someone or something is staring back at you. Perhaps it's all of us. Relativi relativistic parsec skipping. People will tell you this isn't physically possible. These are people you don't want on your ship. Prime evil glow. From unending times and an ancient light still shines. Impossibly pure and fragile in its old age. Extra physics funding. Time to put your money where your particle colliders are. Chemical proficiency. Discover exciting new elements such as flesh meltium, inert shampoo byproduct number 17, and carbon plus plus. Light magic. Not to be taken lightly. No, I'm serious. 178 people died last year. You don't mess around with magic. Mystical energies. Something beckons from within the light. It is warm, comforting, and apparently the cause for several kinds of exotic skin cancers. Gemmed talismans. Good luck charms covered in ancient and excruciatingly rare crystals. A must have for job interviews. Charm quirks. They're after your lucky quirks. Recursive mules. Do you have any idea what happens when you point two of these at each other? Apparently the universe doesn't either. Mice clicking mice. Absolutely blasphemous. <laughs> it, it could say blasphemous. It could say blasphemous. It's 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 random chance. <laughs> Script grannies. Armies of energy drink to fueled grandmas are ready for to hack into cyberspace for renegade e cookies. Tombola computing. Like quantum computing, but more fun. Your ticket reads XX 
XX, 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 which is four numbers between 0 and 99, entitling you to a random message. And now, oh baby, this is the long one. The cookie upgrades. Flavored cookies, of course. Just a moment. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I got this crazy idea that I already made a video specifically covering the cookie upgrades, which in that case let me skip this part. So I'm very quickly checking my YouTube. Yeah, I already did. Cool. Then I get to skip this. Except for some of them. Some of them are, I don't know, are, uh, new, maybe, I don't know, I don't care, what, who cares, who, who even cares? Look, I don't know what I covered and what I didn't, so, I apologize that I am skipping over, like, all of this, but, it happens. What I won't skip over is the garden cookies. Elder Wart Biscuits. Cookie production multiplier plus 2%. Grandma production multiplier plus 2%. They taste incredibly scale even when baked fresh. Bakeberry Cookies. CPS plus 2%. Really good dipped in hot chocolate. Duke Tato Cookies. Plus 10% cookie production multiplier. Fragrant and mealy with a slight yellow aftertaste. Green yeast digestives. Plus 1% golden cookie gains in duration. Plus 1% golden cookie frequency plus 3% random drops. These are tastier than you'd expect, but not by much. Wheat slims. Plus 1% cookie production multiplier. The only reason you'd consider these cookies is because you feel slightly sorry for them. And here are the kitten upgrades. Kitten helpers. By the way, all of these gain give you more CPS the more milk you have, which is based on achievements. So, kitten helpers, meow may I help you? Kitten workers, meow 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 meow. Kitten engineers, meow 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 meow. So, kitten overseers, my poor piss is just over you. So, kitten managers, that's not gonna pause any problem, so kitten accountants. Business going great, so. Kitten specialists. Optimizing your workflow like whoa, so. Kitten expertise. Continues expertise in the cookie business, so. Kitten consultants. Glad to be overpaid to work with you, so. Kitten assistants to the regional manager. Nothing stresses me out except having to speak, seek the in approval of my inferiors, so. Kitten marketeers. Nothing su no, no such thing as a saturated mall kit, so. Kitten analysts. Based on, based on potent return on investment meowdles, we should have to afford to pay our employees somewhere around the next century, so. And finally, Kitten Executives, which is that really yum teal that I was talking about earlier, which has a rainbow outline and a black snow. I hope that this gets shown off in more upgrades, but only time can tell. 
ready to execute whatever and whoever you like, so... And now for the research upgrades. <laughs> Bingo Sitter slash slash research facility. Greymiles are four times as efficient and it unlocks new upgrades regularly. What could possibly keep those grandmothers in, grandmothers in check? Bingo. Specialized chocolate chips. Cookie production multiplier plus one percent. Computer design chocolate chips. Computer chips, if you will. Designer cocoa beans. Cookie production multiplier plus two percent. Ritual rolling pins. The result of scientific the result of years of scientific research. Grandmas are now twice as efficient. Underworld ovens. Cookie production multiplier plus three percent. Powered by science, of course. One mind. Each grandma gains plus 0 0.02 base CPS per grandma. Note, the grandmothers are going restless. Do not encourage them. We are one. We are many. Exotic nuts. Cookie production multiplier plus 4%. You'll go crazy over these. Communal brain sweep. Each grandma gains another plus 0 0.02 base CPS per grandma. Note. Proceeding any further in scientific research may have unexpected results. You have been warned. We fuse, we merge, we grow. All cane sugar. Cookie production multiplier plus 5%. Tastes like insects, ligaments, and molasses. Elder Pact. Each grandma gains 0 0.05 base CPS per portal. Note, this is a bad idea. Squirm, crawl, slither, writhe. Today we rise. Sacrificial rolling pins. Elder pledges last twice as long. These are mostly just for spreading the anti-aging cream and accessorily shortening the chicken's suffering. Now we have some switches, which the switches so you can turn them off and on. Elder Pledge contains the wrath of the elders for at least a while. This is a simple ritual involving anti-aging cream cookie batter mixed in the moonlight and a live chicken. Elder Covenant slash revoke Elder Covenant puts a permanent end to the elders wrath at the price of 5% of your CPS. This is a complicated ritual involving silly inconsequential trivialities such as coastal laxatives, century old cacao, and an infant. Don't question it. You, and if you evoke a little covenant, you will get 5% of your CPS back, but the Grand Matriarchs will return. We rise again. Now we have some seasonal biscuits. Or cookies, if you so desire. Trigger's Christmas season for the next 24 hours. The festive biscuit. Twas the night before Christmas. Or was it? Ghostly biscuit. Trigger's Halloween season for the next 24 hours. Spooky, scary skeletons who will wake you with a boo. Lovesick biscuit. Valentine's Day season. Romance never goes out of fashion. Fool's Biscuit. Business day season. Business. Serious business. This is our, absolutely all of your business. Bunny Biscuit. Easter season. All the world will be your enemy, and when they catch you, they will kill you. But first, they must catch you. And the golden switch off and on. Turning this on will give you a passive plus 50% CPS, but prevents golden cookies from spawning. The cost is equal to one hour of protection. This, and turning it off, removes your 50% CPS, but will allow golden cookies to spawn again. Shimmering Veil. It's by default on when you buy it. 
Uh, boosts your cookie production by 50% while active. The veil is very fragile and will break if you collect a big cookie or any golden cookies around you. Turning the veil back on costs 24 hours of unbuffed CPS. Sugar Frenzy. This one's actually activated by paying a sugar lump. Activating this will triple your CPS for one hour at the cost of one sugar lump. May only be used once per ascension. Golden Cookie Sound Selector. It lets you change the sound of a golden cookie that they make when they spawn. Milk Selector lets you display what kind of milk you want. And Background Selector lets you display your wallpaper of choice. And then there's some miscellaneous upgrades. A crumbly egg unlocks the cookie dragon egg. Thank you for adopting this robust, fun-loving cookie dragon. It'll bring you years of joy and entertainment. Keep in a dry plate, dry and cool place, and away from other house pets. Subscription to home insurance is strongly advised. Phone tea. You gain 3% of your regular CPS while the game is closed, provided you have the twin gates of Transcendence Heavenly Upgrade unlocked. It's dropped by drowsy phones, and whatever. A chemically complex natural beverage. This soothing concoction has been used by, by mathematicians to solve equations in their sleep. Ico Syrup. You gain 7% of your regular CPS while the game is closed. Sugar lumps also mature seven minutes sooner. Tastes like candy. Smell is another story. Now for some clicking upgrades, which are unlocked by making cookies by clicking the cookie. And all of them lets you click and gain 1% of your CPS. Plastic mouse, slightly squeaky. Iron mouse. Click like it's 1349. Titanium mouse. Heavy but powerful. Adamantium mouse. You could cut diamonds with these. Unobtainium mouse. These nice mice should suffice. Illudium mouse. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Wish alloy mouse. Clicking is fine and dandy, but don't get don't smash your mouse over it. Get your game on. Go play. Fantasteel Mouse. You could be clicking using your touchpad and we'd be none the wiser. Never Crack Mouse. How much beefier can you make a mouse until it's considered a rat? Oh, Mythical Mouse. This takes about 53 people to push it down and another 48 jump to jump down on the button to trigger a click. You could say it's got some heft to it. Techno Technobsidian Mouse. A highly advanced mouse of sophisticated design. Only one thing on its mind to click. Plasma Mouse. A shifting blow in the corner of your eye. This mouse can trigger a flurry of clicks when grazed by even the slightest breeze. And there is some golden cookie upgrades as well for clicking various amounts of golden cookies. Lucky day. Golden cookies appear twice as often and last twice as long on screen. Oh hey, a full leaf penny. Serendipity, same effect as the last one. What joy, seven horseshoes. Get lucky. Golden cookie effects last twice as long. You've been up all night, haven't you? Heavenly chip secret. These are heavenly chip updates, by the way. And it's un the first one's unlocked by owning a heavenly ship for the first time. Unlocks 5% of your prestige levels. Grants a knowledge of heavenly chips and how to use them to make baking more efficient. It's a secret to everyone. Heavenly cookie stand. Unlocks 25%. Don't forget to visit the heavenly lemonade stand afterwards. When afterlife gives you, gives you lemons. Heavenly Bakery. Unlocks 50%. Also sells godly cakes and divine pastries. The pretzels aren't too bad either. Heavenly Confectionery. Unlocks 75%.
They say angel bakers work there. They take angel lunch breaks and sometimes go on angel strikes. Heavenly key unlocks 100%. This is the key to poorly and tasty gates of pastry heaven, granting you access to your entire stockpile of heavenly chips for baking purposes. May you use them wisely. And these are some Chris Christmas based upgrades. A festive hat. Not a creature is doing, not even a mouse. It unlocks something. Increased mayonnaise. Cookie production multiplier plus 15%. It turns out that the key to increased merriness, strangely enough, happens to be good campfire and some s'mores. You know what they say. After all, the s'more the merrier. Improved jolliness. Same as the last upgrade, in effect. A nice wobbly belly. Goes a long way, you know. A lump of coal. Cookie production multiplier plus 1%. Some of the world's worst stocking stuffing. I guess you could start try starting your own little industrial revolution or something. An itchy sweater. Same effect as the last one. You don't know what's worse. The embarrassingly quaint elf on a reindeer motif. Or the fact that you're wear that wearing it makes you feel like you're wrapping in a dead you wrapped up in a dead Sasquatch. Once again, my music has ended because this video is approximately an hour long at this moment. So I will just, you know, let's just do this terrible live stream. But tone it down. There we go. There we, there we go. Alright, alright, we're good to go. Reindeer baking grounds. Reindeer appear twice as frequently. Male reindeer are from Mars. Female reindeer are from Venison. Weighted sleighs. Reindeer are twice as slow. Hope it was worth the wait. With an E I G H T, of course. Something something forced into silver dude. Ho 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 flavored frosting. Reindeer give twice as much cookies. It's time to up the antler. Season savings. All buildings are 1% cheaper. By Santa's beard, what savings? But who will save us? Toy workshop. Watch yours. What? Watch yourself. Oh. Around elves droppers who might steal our production secrets. Or oh, elven wolves. Naughty list. Grandma's are twice as productive. This list contains every unholy deed perpetuated by Grandma Kind. He won't be checking this once. This, he won't be checking this tr one twice. Once is enough. Santa's bottomless bag. Random drops are 10% more common. This is one bottom you can't check out. Santa's helpers. Clicking is 10% more powerful. Some choose to help Hamburgo, some choose to help you, to each their own, I guess. Santa's Legacy. Hockey production plus 3% poor Santa's levels. Cost scales with Santa uh, And then North Pole, you gotta get the elves first. Then when you get the elves, you start making the toys. Then when you get the toys, you get the cookies. Simple. Santa's milking cookies. Milk is 5% more powerful. Part of Santa's dreadfully unbalanced diet. Santa's Dominion. Cookie production multiplier plus 20%. All buildings are plus are 1% cheaper. All upgrades are 2% cheaper. My name is Claus, King of Kings. Look on my toys, ye mighty and despair. There are also some Easter egg upgrades. Chicken egg. Uh, cookie production plus 1%. The egg. The egg came first. Get, oh, get over it. 
duck egg. Same as the last one. I think most of these have the same effect, so I'll mention if they have a special one. Duck egg. Then he waddled away. Turkey egg. These hatch into strange, hand-shaped creatures. Quail egg. These eggs are positively tiny. I mean, look at them. How does this happen? Who's, whose idea was that? Robin egg. Holy as your huge shelled embryos. Ostrich egg. One of the largest eggs in the world. More like ostrich. Am I right? Guys? Cassowary egg. The cassowary is taller than you, possesses motorous claws, and can easily outrun you. You do well to be cassowary of them. Salmon row. Do the impossible. See the invisible. Row, row, fight the power. Frog spawn. I was going to make a pun about how these totally look like eyeballs, but frog get it. Shark egg. Hello, is this food? Let me tell you about food. Why do I keep eating my friends? Total egg. Totals, right? Hatch from cell shells, grow up into shells. What's up with that? Now for my skit about airplane food. Ant lava. These are a delicacy in some countries. I swear. You will let these invade your digestive tract and you will derive great pleasure from it and all will be well. Golden goose egg. Golden cookies appear 5% more often. The sole vestige of a tragic tale in involving misguided investments. Fabergé egg. All buildings and upgrades are 1% cheaper. This outrageous egg is definitely fab. Winklo spawn. Winklo's exploding to 5% more cookies. Look at this little guy. It's going to be a big boy someday. Yes, it is. Cookie egg. Clicking is 10% more powerful. The shell appears to be chipped. I wonder what's inside this one. Omelet. Other eggs appear 10% more frequently. Chocolate egg. Contains a lot of cookies. Laid by the elusive cocoa board. There's a surprise inside. There is some optimal time to open the chocolate egg, and that's what it means by a lot of cookies. But it's uh, it's a little confusing. Century egg. You continually gain more CPS the longer you played in the cold session. Actually, not centuries old. This one is isn't a day. Over eighty six. And then of course, who can forget? Egg. Plus nine CPS. Hey guys, look, it's it's egg. Now for the fortune upgrades. So most of these have the same effect and they're just based on a specific building. So I'll, I'll say the building, read the name, and then read the flavor text, you know me. These all give plus 7% more efficiency to the buildings and plus and also 7% cheaper now. Kosos. Fortune number one. Fingers are not o the only thing you can count on. Grandma's fortune number two. A wrinkle is a crack in a mundane facade. Farms. Fortune number three. The seeds of tomorrow already lie within the seeds of today. Fortune number four. Riches from deep under elevate you all the same. That was for mines. I don't think I said that. Factories. Fortune number five. True wealth is not in what you find, but in what you make. For banks. Fortune number six. The value of money means nothing to a pocket. Temples. Fortune number seven. Not all guides deserve worship. Fortune number eight. Magic is about two things. Showmanship and rabbits. Shipment. Fortune number nine. Every mile traveled expands the mind by just as much. Alchemy Labs. Fortune number ten. Don't get used to yourself. You're going to have to change. Portals. Fortune number eleven. Every doorway is a gamble. Tread with KO. Time Machine. Fortune number twelve. 
do your future self a favor. They'll thank you for it. Anti-American Insults, Fortune number 13. The world is made of what we put into it. Prison, Fortune number 14. Staring at a dazzling light can blind you back to darkness. Chance makers for Fortune number 15. Don't leave to blind chance what you could accomplish with death skill. Fortune number 16 for the meta bakeries. It's good to see yourself in others. Remember to see yourself in yourself too. JavaScripts. Fortune number 17. If things aren't working out for you, rewrite the rules. And now these are some special ones. Fortune number 100. Upgrade. Upgrades and buildings cost minus 1%. You gain plus 1 in CBS. True wealth is counted in gifts. Fortune number 101. You gain plus 7% CPS. Some people dream of fortunes, others dream of cookies. Fortune number 102. You gain plus 1% of your regular CPS while the game is closed. Help, I'm trapped in a browser game. Fortune number 103. You gain more CPS the more milk you have. Don't believe the superstitions. All cats are good luck. Fortune number 104. Clicking gains plus 1% of your CPS. Remember to stay in touch. And there are also some debug upgrades that I'll read off anyways because it's funny. And these are only for cheaters, so don't cheat unless you are testing. Because that's what they're for. Ultra Science. Research only takes five seconds. Yeah! Science! Gold hold. Golden cookies appear really often. That is entirely too many. Neuromancy can toggle upgrades on and off at will in the stats menu. It can also come in handy to unsee things that can't be unseen. Perfect idling. You keep producing cookies even while the game is closed. It's the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. Winklow Dormat. It will spawn much more frequently. You're such a push pushover. Reindeer season. Reindeer spawn much more frequently. Go Cheeto! Go Hacker and Faker! Eternal seasons. Seasons now last forever. Season to taste. Magic shenanigans. Cookie production multiplied by 1000. It's magic. I ain't gotta explain that, cookie. Occult Obstruction Cookie production reduced to zero if, sim if symptoms persist, consult a doctor Glucose charged AO Sugar lumps coalesce a whole lot faster Don't breathe, don't breathe too much or you'll get diabetes Turbo charged soil Garden plants grow every second Garden seeds are free to plant You can switch soils at any time it's got electrolytes! Uh, 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 that is all, for one. <laughs> I could probably do a mini video on, like, the heavenly upgrades. Because they aren't listed as a main upgrade, so I'd have to go to a completely different article to find those. But that is all of the main upgrades that you can buy normally without having to make sense. So, if you enjoyed this, like, enjoy this, let's see, how long was this? Yeah, an hour and a half video. Please, please like and subscribe. I don't know why you'd watch this long. If you did, I, I'm in awe that you watched this long. I mean, really, I am. So, I mean, I, I guess I can falsely pause the music, pause the music, cut, cut, cut. I suppose I can do a little update at the end here for anyone who really cares that much, which is no one. Uh, like I said at the very start, I, could, I do plan on doing a video about the 20W14 Infinite, because that is a very fun snapshot to play with, and there's some very interesting dimensions. Um, but. I don't really have too many other video ideas at the moment. Um, 
obviously sometimes I just post stupid, not that funny, but somehow it makes people laugh content uh, every so often, but sometimes they also just want to post random content like this for some reason, so, you know, here I am, ha ha ha, I, I, I don't know, man, I just, if you got ideas, hit me up, man, and Randy, I'm gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna suffer, Randy, because I'm gonna make you watch all of this, and edit out, you can just edit whatever you feel like, dude, but don't edit out the actual content, okay, you can edit out, like, the gaps and stuff, but l leave this part in, of course, you gotta leave this in, it's so, it's so fun to be, like, all the, all the cool big guys who are, like, talking to their editors from beyond the fourth wall, yeah, oh, it's so cool, it's just it's so interesting, and, uh, oh yeah, and I got the thumbnail from some Reddit post, sorry, I'm not crediting him because I don't remember, but it's not like he can copyright the image, <laughs> can he? Oh god, he probably can, oh, I'll just change his thumbnail down the line one day, uh, if it ever comes to it, uh, anyways, Randy, so, Randy, Randy, Randy's my new editor, by the way, he, 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 he'll edit videos, uh, uh, occasionally, maybe, I don't know, maybe, <laughs> good question, will he, will he not, I don't know, but, yeah, I mean, I really don't have much else to say, I, <laughs> I'm lacking in ideas, I, I'm creatively bankrupt, what can I say, uh, but, I have someone who will edit videos for me, which is very great, uh, I'll probably make content on here, relatively more frequently than I do now if I ever get to uh, move my computer somewhere where, you know, I could record more often than I can't because I'd have a lot more options and windows where I could record a big chunk of video like this or even a shorter video without being interrupted by something. So, you know, if you ever see videos pick up you know why single person named Randy who was forced to watch this entire video. So yeah, you know, you 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 do you you do you I should really end this recording.